just about 5 a.m. This one's been up since what, three? Three. Uh, and we're in DC. We don't have much of a view. No. Oh, the moon's full. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a nice little view there. No, they yeah. can't see it. But uh, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> so, our flight leaves at seven, and we're going to head to the airport now for our first sailing trip ever. Yep. So we've been doing lots of studying and I don't know, over the last month read almost all the books. So we and should have time while quarantined in our hotel room. Yeah, so we got two more days of sitting in a box. So anyway. Um so we're gonna make our way to Saint Vincent and the Grenadines. So ready? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Alright. <laughs> What, Steve? What? <laughs> How's it going? It's going. <laughs> Trying. It's a terrible place to be quarantined. Absolutely terrible. <sighs> At least we can we can sit out here on our chairs, which we've sat out there. The majority of the time here. So, we got one more day of quarantine, and then we'll be on one of those boats out there. So. So, just a quick recap. Um, I don't know, we've been studying and then did two tests today, right? 101 and 103. Yeah, um, we were told we were scholars on 101. Um, one of us missed two questions and one of us missed one question. See what I did there? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll see what happens. Uh, don't know the results. 103, we have no idea yet. A little iffy on that one. And then uh, we were told our quarantine should be over tomorrow. We should be uh, heading out uh, around noon. So we'll see. Anyway, we're going to have some beers and food and I guess call it a night. Do what we did last night and hang out on the veranda. Yeah. All right. That's a great sign. It moves. <laughs> now if it stops over here, we're in really good shape. It's pretty big. Yeah, there's gonna be plenty of I wonder if the guys driving it are gonna be on it. Or is it gonna be us and I, as far as I know it's just gonna be us. I hope it's just us. Okay, we're the crew. Yeah. But I guess it's at their discretion, stop. right? Well, they decided to leave you. <laughs> yeah. They're I hope not. To get us. <laughs> yeah. We will see. I know. Yeah. Of 
that. What's that? The difference between power and sailing is that you have, you have an alternative power source, which is the wind and the sails, yeah. other than just the engine. So, yeah. so you have to put away this stuff here now. Okay. What do you think? I haven't puked yet. So how's it feel? be at the helm of a 42 foot catamaran. Thanks so far. Not too bad. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. <clears throat> you think it'll hold us both? <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. I had a good time. Yeah, you look happy. This looks pretty nice too. I think this is the part of sailing I'm going like. Hmm. Yep. Hard not to like this. Do you remember what this is? Huh? Do you remember what that's called? You know, I was looking at that. What's that called? Give me the letter it starts with. T. Got it. I did. <laughs> you got it. Okay. Turnbuckle. Correct. We have some near collision. You guys need to learn your right of ways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, we're, there's very, very few of us on the ocean. You don't have to worry about it seeing too many. <laughs> Wild and wonderful, baby.
so that was our first night on the boat. This is about 5.30 in the morning. sun's coming up and I guess we're planning on heading further south today um, everybody else is still asleep but just kind of woke up early and wanted to see the sunrise so anyway a little early for that but it's right there getting the chickens coming in the background yeah, 10 feet. It looks so clear, I feel like it's not that deep. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? I'll do it this way. I guess I should test to see if it's blokes. I can't get accustomed to that. That's like, that's pretty wild. Get accustomed to what? Your face. <laughs> so funny right now. <laughs> no, that's not, I guess that kind of came out the wrong way. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> I can't get accustomed to your face. <laughs> oh, your lips pulling up and your teeth are sticking out. Here, look here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mess, don't look at me. Uh, <laughs> but it's pretty wild. It seems like it's all like right next to our feet. What's right next to our feet? Like everything. It's like you super close.
Hey, you're headed too far that way. The island's over there. I lost sight of it. Yeah, it started getting hazy. <laughs> you can zoom on this, right? No. No? Here. Worth the trip. This is nice. Where's the you are here? <laughs> I'll record a swim. So, oh, there's a turtle watching the bird. Hold on, let me turn this off. He's big. He is huge. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, oh, there's two. Man. Oh, and there's a bunch of little fish. See them? Yeah. I think they're following the buffer. So crazy they come that close. Oh, look at those. 
No, they came straight up. Watch. It's about 6 a.m. maybe. Somewhere in the area. My watch battery died a while ago, so I don't know exactly. But it's early. I missed the complete sunrise, but I wanted to get a shower and stuff this morning, which was a pretty fun experience. Anyway, we had the most amazing uh, meal last night. It was fresh caught lobster. It was just. I don't know, I got a picture of it. And the rice was fantastic. And we had red snapper, some uh, potatoes, and all kinds of cool stuff. Anyway, it was <clears throat> uh, at a place called Romeo's, which is apparently pretty, pretty famous. Anyway, um, we saw some spotted rays in the water. We did some snorkeling, which. So I had a, our first like argument with another boater. It was kind of funny. So uh, I don't know who this guy is, but there's his boat. Anyway, he came over in his dinghy and started yelling at us because we uh, hooked up to this mooring ball. He's anchored down in the middle of the channel. So, so if you use the mooring balls, it costs money. And if you anchor in the middle of the channel, it's free. Or if you anchor, it's free. But he anchored where everybody's supposed to drive through and then came over and yelled at us because we hooked up to the mooring ball where we're supposed to and said that we shouldn't do that because he's afraid his boat is going to hit ours. <laughs> so, anyway. So, Captain Jimmy basically was like, yeah, put out fenders. Whatever, man. <laughs> and the guy was like, what? You're going to put out fenders? <laughs> so then he, he got mad and he sped off, which was, which was pretty, pretty hilarious. So, anyway. Pretty fun time. And, uh, so we talked about that afterwards. And so, you know, Jimmy's point was simply, well, okay, we move to another mooring ball, and some other boat comes in and hooks up to the mooring ball that we were just at, and then he comes over and says, hey, you can't park there because my boat's going to swing all over the place. 
So it's kind of one of those things where I guess he should have just had better control of, of smoke. Anyway, it was like the first, I don't know, 30 seconds we were here right after we hooked up. He didn't even wait. He waited till after we hooked up to the morning ball and then came over, which is also kind of a stupid thing in my opinion. But whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, beautiful, beautiful place. So we'll have to bring the kids back to Romeo's at some point. So today, our agenda is that we're going to um, we're going to motor over to the other side of this island. Topango Key, Topango Keys, spelled spelled C A Y S, but they call it Keys. <clears throat> um, but we're gonna motor to the other side of this as soon as Jimmy gets up and Jenny gets up, and then our plan is we're gonna go snorkeling with turtles and, and then possibly go to the reef if I can get better at snorkeling really fast. So that's the game plan.
your hand. You wanna you wanna grab him? Here, ready? <laughs> there. Oh. Oh, 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 he just inked. Oh, look, he's inked. He just shot ink. He just shot ink? Yeah. All right, now it is in the torture. Now he's mad. I see him, though. I'm going to give him, look, see the ink? Yeah. something get a hold of my hand it's like ah yeah well, I didn't know what it was <laughs> yeah, it gave you a good laugh <laughs> single-handed you got a piece of banana bread cruising along Two questions on every single test. Sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> but we've passed our... That's the part I'm good at. We passed our 101. I'll know all the rules. Yeah, you will. <laughs> we passed our 101. And I think we... I missed two and you missed one on that one. The 102. I think it was pretty close again. And then 104. She beat me by two. So. Yeah. And we both... But we both... We passed. We passed. Barely. Not as well, but we did. Anyway, heading to shore. <laughs> You're pulling this side's pulling more. You're good.
spinning. Okay. Good job. Just backed up the cat to a dock. Uh, I guess we're getting in a little bit of a He stopped loving her. He stopped loving her today by George Jones is playing on this island up here. So had to get trying to get a video of it, but unfortunately the welcoming committee got a little noisy. So, anyway. That is Romeo's, right about over uh, there. That's where we ate lobster, right on the beach. And that's the Palm Island there? Oops, sorry. Oh. That's the Palm Island. Yeah, so we sailed on our own, navigating from here. Well, we swam with the turtles too. So we swam with the turtles and fish and did some snorkeling, some, some what? Snorkeling. Snorkeling. <laughs> so then we sailed from here without any assistance from navigation or what have you. All the way down past there. Around that island. All the way down to there. And that's where we ate under the tiki hut. Or we drank beer under the tiki hut. And we sailed over here to Union. And then today we sailed up from Union, up around here, and all the way to the other side of the island. It's country roads! Oh, now they're, now they're playing country roads. Yes, they are. Take me home to play. West Virginia, <laughs> Mount Mama, take me home. Country. Man, we got. Who would have thought? We gotta meet those people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's breaking pretty hard right here.
There's the pelican. There's two of them. Yeah. Three, four. I saw them diving. Where's the pelicans though? Going around eating other species chick. They eat everything, don't they? Isn't that part of the documentary? Watching coming down here? Oh yeah. I was like, I can't watch this. <laughs> yeah. some maneuvers from the top of the mountain. So, and we hiked back down and came back over to the catamaran. Went for a swim. And then we went over to the last bar before the jungle. Which you can see. And had a really amazing barbecue dinner.
he's still nauseous. Trampoline broke and the kid shot up into the catamaran. Uh, so, it's our last day of 
sailing. And we gotta sail back to St. Vincent and then we're we're done. Um, we're anchored or well, we're not anchored, we're at the dock at a place called uh, Beckway. We had dinner and some drinks at uh, at that place. Uh, last night there was an old fellow that was working the grill. He had some pork and snapper and chicken, and it was just uh, it was really good, all good. So we're you know just a nice short walk up the dock to all that. And uh, before we did that, we went to uh, a floating bar. Bathroom, they shut the door and we'll put the lock on it so they couldn't get out, which was funny. And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's all coming together here. It's uh, kind of sad we're wrapping up. And woke up this morning, I guess it's, it's about 6 30 now. I got up at 5 30 and playing around. sail to St. Vincent and then make our way to the airport. So, we've had some really good times on this this journey and you know meet some new friends. It's, uh, Hart and Melanie, John, Captain Brian, uh, there's another group, uh, Chris and Laurel. Um, and then of course Captain Jimmy, he's a really great instructor. So, anyway, so I guess that's kind of it for today. Um, probably won't be doing too much in the way of videos because we'll have a uh, possibly a busy uh, sailing experience on the way back to St. Vincent. I think it's the weather's looking kind of interesting. So you can see the winds coming over top of the mountain here. They seem kind of fast. And it's calling for some rains and, and thunderstorms and stuff. So um, we've already had a sailing day like that. It was pretty, I think Jenny liked that <laughs> more than just kind of floating along. But anyway, so that's it for today. That's for velocity made good, right?
Enjoy yourself. What do you want to do? dripping off you. Yeah. <laughs> hey Jimmy. Get that screen in front there as well. Huh? The other screen.